this is the start to what I hope is going to be a weekly vlog. Um, I really love watching vlogs, um, reading vlogs, chill vlogs. I think they're really fun to watch. So I thought it'd be really fun to try and do a weekly vlog. I just don't feel like I normally read enough in a weekend to like warrant a vlog. Maybe if I'm, maybe sometime it will be, but anyways, so I thought I would do a whole week weekly vlog um, and I thought I'd kind of share some of the things I'm thinking of reading so the first thing that I'm reading I'm almost done with is Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher so I'm almost finished with this I've literally got like 25 pages left but it's at that point where like everything has gone so wrong and is so downhill but I know things are about to finally get better. And like, you know that like little squeal worthy part where you're like just so excited to see like what's gonna happen next. Um, so I put it off, but I'm about to finish that now. Um, and I really, really liked this one. So I know I'm starting with like me finishing a book, but that's just kind of where I was at. Um, I, this is the second book in the Dreamland Billionaire series and I loved the first one. I gave five print, the fine print five stars. This one I think is going to be five stars too. Declan and Iris are just, they're so good. Um, hello. <laughs> Sorry, Diana's going to be joining us. Um, but I really like this. So this is a marriage of convenience book. Declan's the oldest of the brothers and his kind of, so for all the brothers, basically they all had to, there was some kind of a like condition um, from their grandfather to get a, um, in order to get their inheritance, they had to do something. And for Declan, he had to, um, I can't remember if he had to get married or if he just had to like prove that he was like a family man. But regardless though, he basically plans an arranged marriage with his assistant, Iris. Iris is his assistant and she basically kind of like volunteers to marry him when his original bride falls through because he was an asshole <laughs> um and Declan is a businessman he's the oldest of the brothers and he is just known for being ruthless he's uh, he's rude he's kind of condescending not the nicest guy on the outside but Iris has been his assistant for like three years and she's amazing at her job and honestly Declan would not be where he was without Iris like she is really good asset to him and he definitely takes her for advantage takes a not advantage but he takes her for granted i think and so the story starts when she has this like whim of deciding that she's going to um volunteer herself <laughs> to be his bride and they set this contract up so they're gonna be married for like three years and they're gonna have a child together and then they can like go their separate ways if they need to and if you know me you know i love an arranged marriage book and this one the tension has just been building between these two like steadily i think lauren asher did a really good job of not having them get together like super early on because sometimes that happens in like either an arranged marriage or like a fake dating and I just think it loses something when that happens because you're not you don't have that like urge for them to like you know finally get together so they did finally and then <laughs> spoiler but Declan was such a jerk and he totally just like imploded all of the trust that Iris finally had in him mm just wanted to like soccer punch the guy but you know it was one of those moments where he said something in the heat of being angry and he even said it he lashed out at iris said something very hurtful and now he's trying to figure out how the heck he's gonna get her back so that's where i'm at in this one but really loving it and this series in general is very very good I'll try and come on and let you know some final thoughts at some point but don't for some reason because basically I'm done now unless they really mess up the ending I think this is gonna be a five stars like it would take a lot for this ending for this book not to be five stars so right now I'm just waiting for Declan to figure out how he's gonna make it up to Iris basically um yeah so really loving that um and then I have a couple other books that I'm hoping to read so I'm starting this vlog on a Sunday which is kind of an odd time I guess but I'm thinking like I said I'm gonna do like a whole week and then hopefully I'll get a couple snippets throughout the week, but if not, I will catch up with the vlog next weekend. And it's been a pretty chill day so far. 
I, we, I definitely had a lazy morning, which I needed. I, does anyone else just feel like when they get really stressed out or things are really busy, that they are just so exhausted, like so tired. It's just been a lot at work. Like I'm switching jobs and I work in the schools right now. If anyone doesn't know, I'm an SLP, a speech language pathologist, and I work in an elementary school, but I'm actually switching to a private practice soon. And I'm very excited, but it's very bittersweet. And so trying to like wrap up everything I've only got, gosh, like a week and a half, two weeks left. So it's just been a lot trying to wrap up everything and, you know, get everything in order. But yeah, so it's just been a pretty chill morning, but then I did finally get my act together and filmed a couple of videos for the week for um, the channel, which I've been trying to be smarter recently and like batch film a couple of things at least, but I got really behind. And um, so I just filmed one and it's uploading now about my 23, 23 favorite so far. So then I also filmed a video about books on my mind, which basically is like a TBR, but just not a TBR because I can't stick to them. But basically it's just all the, the books that I've been thinking about recently that just keep floating around in my mind and that I really want to read over the next couple months. So you'll see those videos at some point. Hopefully they're already up when you're watching this. But um, so I did do those two things and you know, did the lovely adulting things of like cleaning up, unloading the dishwasher, <laughs> doing laundry. So now I'm gonna hopefully read a little bit more and then um, make some nachos for dinner, which I'm excited about. Um, but let me grab the other books. I'm actually listening to something else right now too, but I have the book, it's in the other room. So I'll just put a picture up for you. But I'm listening to Crush by Tracy Wolf. This is book two in the, is it the Crave series? I guess it's called Crave. This is like a YA fantasy, paranormal, I guess it's more paranormal than fantasy series. And I, for some reason, had the like, urge to read this series um, this past well, last weekend and I'd read Crave the first book like literally three years ago in 2020 when it came out and now there's like five books out and the last book's coming out in a couple weeks and I just for some reason was like you know what I need to do I really want to power through that series <laughs> I don't know why but um, so I'm listening to them on audiobook they're on any play if anyone's interested but I also already owned the second one and then I got the rest from the library because when I'm listening to a book, especially a big chunky book, like these are really fat. Um, I do really like to like be able to like find my spot and sometimes read as I listen. So yeah, this is, I don't know, so far I'm like halfway through book two and so, so far it's good. I, I will say book two definitely I think has a lot more going on plot wise than the first one. The first one's a lot of setup um, and trying to introducing characters. Just notice my cat is drooling. Can you guys see that? I don't know what like you can see on the camera, but I think there's a bird outside the window that she keeps looking at. <laughs> She's drooling over it. So if you can see that, sorry. But um, anyways, back to the Crave series. Um, I'm really liking it. It's a fun, it's pretty fast paced. It's it's just kind of, you know when you just need something that's like kind of a corny, popcorny type book? That's what the series feels like to me. But there was a bit of a, I think there's gonna be, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but I feel like, okay, if you don't wanna know any spoilers for the series, just fast forward for a couple minutes. But um, I think there's gonna be a bit of a switcheroonie with the love interest, like she started dating Jackson in the first book but his brother Hudson is like basically the what we think of as the villain right now and I have a theory slash I kind of had a little bit of a spoiler that so it's not really a theory it's more like I just am pretty sure that she might end up with him and like things are gonna come out so I'm really just like in the series to see what happens with the love story like the fantasy part and the paranormal parts are fun um, especially because we just found out what Grace is, who's the main character, and I guess I never really said, this book is called, it's the Cat, oh, it's not called the Crave series, it's called the Catmere Academy series because all the kids go to Catmere Academy and they, um, 
basically there are a bunch of different supernatural creatures in this school it is high school it's like a boarding school basically in Alaska and in the first book you figure out what most of the characters are but in the second one you really explore what Grace is because she always thought she was human spoiler alert which I mean we all did we all think she was really human no we knew she wasn't right but anyways, um, I'm really, really enjoying this series so far, and I am going to continue listening to that. I'm mostly listening to it when I'm doing chores, so like I'm cleaning, or if I'm, um, you know, cooking dinner, I'll listen to it usually, and then in the car, on the way to work and stuff, so um, it'll probably take me a couple days to finish the second one, and then I do plan on just like continuing the series. I really want to just go through and listen to all of them. There's three more to listen to but I don't know if I get burnt out I might do something else um this clip is getting very long so let me quickly tell you so because I'm about to finish this physical book I do need to pick another physical slash ebook to read this week um so I've got a couple options number one is Eris Gets a Duke by Harper St. George this is a um historical romance and it's Gilded Age so it's set in I think this is actually set in Europe but, um, you know, it's set during the Gilded Age, which is one of my favorite time periods. It's just, I think it's such an interesting time in history. And this was about an American heiress named August. And then there is a Duke, isn't there always a Duke, named Evan. And I'm pretty sure that it's, I think, I'm pretty sure that August's sister is supposed to marry the duke and like it basically a marriage of convenience type thing you know the age old her family has a ton of money she's an heiress his family has the title we're gonna combine them but she's like no way i'm not letting my sister um you know become in a loveless marriage so i'm gonna like do something about it and then it's the two of them their love story and i've had this one for a really long time on my shelf and i just really want to read it um so that's option one Option two is Anna Marie and the Fox by Liana De La Rosa. And again, this is a historical romance as well, but this one's really cool. I absolutely love this cover. This is a pretty new release. It came out like last month and I picked it up and I'm really excited because I um, believe the heroine's family and the heroine herself is from Mexico. And then Gideon is the hero uh, and I think he's something to do with, I don't actually know Gideon, what Gideon does, but I know he's British. Um, and so it's the two of them. I know it has something to do with like politics and kind of some of the darker things of the past. Um, like I think it has to do with like him trying to abolish the Atlantic slave trade. Um, and I'm, I know that she comes over to Europe, but I don't, I feel like I'm not I'm just spouting nonsense now. I don't know all the details, but I do know that this sounds very cool. And I love that it's um, a heroine that's not necessarily just from England. I think it's really cool. So I wanna read this as well. And this sounds super fun. Um, and then my third option that I'm trying to choose between is um it's sarah adams's new book i think it's called practice makes perfect i'll put a picture up this one just sounds so good i didn't read i've never read anything from sarah adams though so i'm trying to decide if i need to go back and read like the first in her series when in rome or if i can just do this one i'm not gonna lie to you too the cover really does something for me and the plot just sounded amazing which i don't even remember now to tell you but i'll try and look it up for the next clip but I'm not sure which one I want to read. I will try and um, come back. I'll try and come back on at some point though and tell you out of those three. But that's a contemporary romance. I don't think I even said that. And um, I'll come back on and let you know though which one I pick. Hello. Um, today is Tuesday night, so I wanted to do a little bit of an update. Um, also, I really apologize for the lighting. It's really dark and stormy outside, so there's not much I can do about it. But um, uh, we're just gonna have to work through it um, and also the fact that I have really sopping wet hair um, and no makeup because I just got out of the shower but I wanted to do a little reading update before the whole week got away from me and I did finish 
Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher on Sunday. And I really ended up loving this. I gave it five stars. Um, Declan was a harder sell for sure um, than Rowan from the first book for me. But at the end of the day, I did really end up enjoying it. And, you know, I felt like... I don't know. He was like an he was like an ogre, okay? He had he had layers. And it took me a while to kind of peel back the layers and see him. Um but I do think that he made up for kind of the things he did and things he said. Um and I do think that, you know, he won Iris her her respects back kind of. Um and I really loved it. I mean, this is a guy who was telling Iris he loved her. In different languages that she didn't know so she didn't even know he was telling her that he loved her it was just really sweet i loved that part of it with the whole like languages and how he was communicating with her and they had this like little secret code and um these two were people who i really do think were best friends and then fell in love and i think that was really really sweet and i i really am loving this series um i also finished crush oh it's so heavy look how fat this is but I finished crush by Tracy Wolf um I listened to that on audiobook and I'm gonna give this one either like a 4.5 or a 5 I really liked this one I mean I do think it was a lot better than the first book um I think there was a lot going on but we got introduced to a new character in this book Hudson who I'm really really liking um there I can tell there's gonna be a love triangle like there pretty much already is one kind of but I don't want to spoil and spoil this series but I saw someone say something about it and I was like oh my gosh I, I could be on board with that but so if you don't want any spoilers just here I'll pick it back up <laughs> um just fast forward until I put this down but I saw a spoiler that this is going to kind of be like a Damon and Stefan situation from Vampire Diaries. Um, if you catch my drift and I could totally be down for that. So I think, I don't know. I'm really liking Hudson's character. He, you know, we thought he was the big bad villain and kind of we're figuring out that that may not be the case. And a lot of the things that we thought we knew, we don't know. And in this one, Grace really came into her own. I really am liking Grace's character. Like I am not finding her annoying at all. And I'm really liking, um, just cause we do get it all from her perspective and her inner monologue. Like she's not letting these two brothers kind of push her around. And she really is, I think, as she, I mean, this person had a lot thrown at them. And I think like she's accepting that, but she's also not afraid to say her opinion. And she's also saying she's made mistakes, but like trying to learn from them. So we got to know a lot more about like the different magical creatures in this and like kind of the more like politics of this world. And I don't know, I'm really having a good time guys. Like <laughs> I feel like I would definitely recommend listening to it. It's such a chunky series. I think I'll definitely listen to the rest. Um, but I'm having a really good time. I, I love a YA fantasy with like a romance in it when you just want to escape. So definitely loving that. Um, and I already started listening to the third book, which is Covet. Um, I'm only like a couple chapters and I just started that tonight. So I'll probably keep listening to that for the rest of this week. And I'm hoping to just kind of plow through and finish the whole series. The last book comes out... Um, like May 30th. So we'll see. Maybe I can read that at the same time. Um, but anyways, and then the last update is, oh, well, I was trying to pick a book last time and I hit a bit of a snack because my heart was really set on reading Practice Makes Perfect by um, Sarah Adams. And I did not realize, and I'm guessing it's because she was picked up by, I think a publisher, but Sarah Adams books are not in KU, which is okay. But her Kindle books, we're eleven ninety nine for that book. I refuse, absolutely refuse to pay any more than like really no more than eight dollars, maybe ten maximum, and I, I refuse to pay it. So I looked it up and I ended up just buying the book because how freaking cute is this cover? And I'm like, if I'm gonna pay twelve dollars for an ebook, if I pay like four dollars more I can have the actual paperback it's actually pretty skinny though 
So I think I'm gonna read this next because it sounds really good. I know it's like a small town romance. I know she's like a florist and kind of the good girl. And then he's, I mean, based on the cover, he's the bad boy, which I know is so well, or not well, it's so overdone, but I don't care. <laughs> like, I still want to read that kind of thing. And um, I think there might be fake dating in this or something like that. So I'm really excited. It's just everything about this screams that I'll like it. My only thing is I, I just really hope I do because I hate buying, I really hate buying books in soft, like in, in physical form and then not liking it. I just feel like it's such a waste. But I actually think I'm going to start this tonight because it's like 7.45, but it's raining and gross and I am tired. So I literally think I'm going to go tuck myself into bed and read this book for the rest of the evening. So I'll try and check in a little bit later in the week and let you know um, how it's going. Saturday and I have a little mini reading update for you not too much but then I also just went to my local's farmers market farmers market and I thought that I would just share the couple of things I picked up I hadn't been to this one before and it was pretty small but I thought bought a couple of um yummy things and then a couple of really pretty um pieces of like pottery so I thought I'd just show you what I got if you're interested. But first, let me tell you my reading update. So I did listen to more of Covet by Tracy Wolf, and um, I am really liking this. It's a really good audiobook, and I, I'm coming to the conclusion that it's going to be really hard to talk about this series, though, without giving any kind of spoilers away, just because there's kind of a big thing that happens that I can see people not wanting to know, but I will just kind of leave it at, I'm really enjoying this. So much is happening and I'm really liking where the romance is going. Like the romance is really kind of like amped up in this book. And um, there's just so much like magic. Grace is figuring out who she is. Um, it's kind of at the point in this book right now where I'm a little stressed out because like all the bad things are kind of like happening and you can just see where it's gonna go even worse from now. <laughs> Obviously, I know it'll end up okay in the end, I hope, but because this is a series, it may not be okay in this book. So anyways, I'm like halfway through, but this is, this is such a big book. I may not finish this in this reading vlog just because I think I've still got like eight hours of audiobook left, so we'll see. Um, and then I did start Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams, which I think I had told you I was going to last time I was on, I think. And I think I might have included some clips of like the, um, the uh, beginning of the book with like the, um, gosh, was word, the dedication um, and the quote and stuff because I really, really liked it. So this book is just like speaking to me. Now I'm only like literally five chapters in, so I don't really have too much to say on the actual like plot, but I will just say that the, um, the dedication, why can I not think of the word dedication today? Anyways, the dedication is just so sweet. So it's, this one is for the softies, the tender hearted sweeties, the introverts who are afraid to shine. And as somebody who is pretty darn introverted, I just, 
I don't know, I really liked it, I thought it was sweet. And then um, the quote at the beginning is, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow by Audrey Hepburn. And I'll have to like take a little snapshot and like put it in the video because it's so random that um, that is the quote that I had just written on my chalkboard. I have like a chalkboard in my kitchen that I usually change up for the season. And the spring quote that I had picked like a few weeks ago was, this one. So I thought that was just kind of random. So far, all that's happened is we've met Annie, who's our main character, and she is very introverted. She definitely has a lot of like social anxiety and she runs the local floral shop, but she's trying to put herself back out there because she really wants to find like her person and be able to settle down. But you know, you have to actually date to do that, which this whole beginning of this book it really just like spoke to my soul and I'm going to actually read you the beginning of the book like the first chapter because it totally sold me now I don't know how the rest of the book's gonna go but based on but based on how much I really liked this one um it, it, it's gonna be good so this is like the first like couple of sentences of this book it says I'm convinced dating was created by an evil villain to torture humanity dramatic not in the least. For introverts like me with social anxiety, the process of dating is equivalent to waxing your bikini line, menstrual cramps on day two of your cycle, an emergency dental procedure you weren't expecting, and guess what? They're fresh out of Novocaine. Um, I just, that whole, really just like, as somebody who also finds it kind of hard to date and like put yourself out there over and over again because I am such a like introverted person um I just I really liked it so the beginning of the book finds Annie on a very awkward date like really awkward to be fair I don't think I've ever had one quite this bad but um yeah so it finds her at the date and then during the date it, it definitely goes south and um she also, she runs into Will, who you find out Will was, so her sister-in-law from the first book, which I did not read, but I'm gathering, was like a pop star. And she's now gonna be her sister-in-law because she married Annie's brother. So they're living in Rome, but Will was the bodyguard for the pop star. Um, and so she had met him before and kind of had like a little bit of a thing for him, but like never said anything. She just thought he was like, the best but he doesn't really very serious about his job and doesn't really you know socialize when he's being a bodyguard so but he comes and he you know talks to her he's there with a date um at the same restaurant and you kind of see I really like this is dual POV too I didn't know it was dual POV and that's my fave um so anyways you can just tell that, that Will really like likes Annie as well but he's definitely not somebody who is looking for like commitment or you know a long-term thing and so um obviously it's gonna go from there that's literally all i've read so far but i will definitely catch you up more once i read the rest of it um it's not long so i'm really hoping to read it today and tomorrow because i don't have too much more to do but anyways let me show you the couple things i got from the farmer's market and if you don't care feel free to just fast forward through this but the first thing i got was yummy fresh sourdough because I love sourdough bread but I'm I've never actually made it myself um so this is from a local bakery Peterson's Bakery and I'm really excited to make some like sandwiches and toast and stuff and then I got two really delicious pastries but I'm not going to get them out because I think they're going to make a large mess but suffice it to say as a like sweets person I am very excited to eat those um after this after I finished this actually. Um, so they had like a bunch of pastries and bread and they actually did breakfast sandwiches too, but I just didn't get one. And then I'll show you the couple pieces of pottery I got. So um, I just thought these were so pretty and I really like the look of like handmade pottery, but typically when, you know, I've looked at it on Etsy and things like that, or even at other farmer's markets or like, you know, places that people are selling their art, um, they're really expensive and I understand why, you know, it takes a lot of skill and like time and effort to put into, you know, homemade pottery. But um, these were a little more in my price range and I was super excited because um, usually, you know, like a coffee mug is like at least 50 bucks and I'm like, oh, that's like, it's like a very special treat, you know? But anyways, I, the first thing I got was this coffee mug, looks like this and it's just like, oh, it's a really good size 
Like I love mugs. I have a ton of mugs, like way too many. Maybe eventually I'll show you guys all of my mugs because there's way too many. But anyways, I really love this color. I thought the blue and the green was very springy and um, I don't know, I just really loved it. And then kind of, this is actually a gift I bought for my parents. They are moving soon to a new home and um, I'm, we're all really excited for them and they're gonna be closer to me so I'm very excited but um I wanted to buy them a little something just as like a housewarming gift and this one I thought was so cute so it's supposed to be a berry bowl and um so it's got like the holes in it but I just thought it was so pretty um with like the scalloped kind of warped edges and you know you can put like your fruit and stuff in there after you wash it to like put it on the counter and the fridge or whatever. Um, honestly, she may just, my mom may just want to like leave it as decor, but I just thought it was so, so pretty. And I really think she'll like the color scheme as well. So those are the couple of things I picked up. I was a little bummed because, um, when I looked online, sometimes this farmer's market has um, like flowers, fresh flowers, but obviously I'm sure it depends on who's there that weekend. So no fresh flowers today, but I'll have to go get some next weekend from somewhere else. Um, so anyways, I will check back in probably either tonight or tomorrow, hopefully to tell you all about Practice Makes Perfect and kind of wrap up the vlog. All right, I'm back and I just wanted to kind of wrap up this vlog. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the second half of it was a little bit of a fail on my part. I think I underestimated how busy and stressful the last week of work was gonna be and I just didn't get to finish everything I wanted to. But I'm still gonna kind of recap what I did read and then um, what I didn't quite finish. So I did finish Terms and Conditions at the beginning of the vlog and that was a five star read for me, loved it. I also did finish Crush by Tracy Wolf and that was like, I think I gave it a four, 4.5. I think it was a 4.5. Really liked it. A great second installment in that kind of paranormal YA romance series. And then I also did finish Covet by Tracy Wolf. So I finished two of her books, which are very large. So, you know, I'm not feeling as bad as actually as I say this, but I listened to both of these and this one was my favorite. I gave this one five stars. I really liked this one so far. Like, so much happens in one book it's kind of crazy I will say my one critique of the series like overall is I do think they're all a little bit too long like I think they could be shorter for sure and still kind of pack the same punch but um overall really really like that one um so much happens with Grace and Hudson and like Jackson and the whole gang and oh my gosh there were some moments I literally was crying in this book and I was super happy and it really sets up for the next book so I definitely think I'll be listening to that one soon on audiobook as well and then the one thing I kind of failed on is I didn't finish Practice Makes Perfect by um, Sarah Adams I'm about halfway through it and I'm really really liking it and I think that's why I put it down to be honest because sometimes when it's really busy and I just can't focus um I don't want to read something I know I'm gonna like like this because it's like it kind of taints it and I don't know I just can't focus and give it all my attention so I'm gonna pick this up again soon yeah I got to page like 140 and um, I'm really loving this Annie is just the sweetest and then we have um, will and i just they're it's super sweet so far which is what i was expecting from like a sarah adams book from what i was told and um definitely excited to finish this i've had a smile on my face the whole time i've been reading it so definitely gonna finish it soon and you can see my full thoughts on um in my wrap up but i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here and um i will catch you guys soon